Auzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. The Hajj or Muslim pilgrimage is one of the five pillars of Islam that every believer is required to fulfill at least once in his life if he can afford it. On the Saturday of August 10th, 2019, more than 2.5 million faithful gathered on Mount Arafah near Mecca for a day of prayer and meditation which represents the most intense moment of Hajj. It's one of the biggest gatherings in the Muslim community held annually in the holy city. As said in a hadith of Prophet Sidi Ahmed Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hajj is Arafat. At dawn, the faithful, men and women, all dressed in white, began to gather on the sides of this rocky and grayish hill, contemplating in an atmosphere of devotion and intense meditation. The day had started under blazing sun, prompting many pilgrims to bring umbrellas or any other accessory to protect themselves from the heat of the sun. Even the rocks on which the faithful sat were burning. In the afternoon, the pilgrims fulfilled their daily obligations by grouping for the occasion the prayers of Duhru and Asr, respectively shortened into two rakas each. It was then that around 2.30 p.m. local time, or about an hour after prayers were performed, a thunderstorm as unexpected suddenly struck. Preceded in this, lightning that lit up the valley and thunder that roared. The wind picked up and the sky opened its gates, pouring down pours on surprise pilgrims. As the temperature briskly reached 40 degrees Celsius, as usual in Mecca, and the surrounding area, it dropped almost in half in a matter of minutes to around 23 degrees Celsius. It was then that many redoubled their effort in their prayers and other invocations, palm turned towards the sky. This saving rain being seen as a sign of blessing. A rare phenomenon had just occurred. In memory of pilgrims, journalists and organizers, few remember seeing the rain fall on a day of Arafat. Some will even advance the figure two decades since the last event. Still, among those who attended, the 2019 edition of the Hajj has a special stamp. In this regard, what does the Quran say about the rain? Rain is one of the most important factors of life on earth. Rain is beneficial and essential for all living beings. This thundering storm and this rain that poured on the pilgrims on the day of Arafat can only push us to marvel and meditate on the blessings that our Lord grants us. Subhanallah, a magnificent message addressed to pilgrims and to those who observe them. There is necessarily a parallel to be drawn between the pilgrims' spiritual rebirth after an approved Hajj and the life that Allah gave back to the arid and dry land of His kingdom. Rain is mentioned in multiple verses of the Quran, where substantial information is provided about its formation, proportion, and effects. The inconceivability of any of this information being known at the time of the revelation of the Quran proves to us that it is indeed the word of Allah. O oh, my people, ask the forgiveness of your Lord and repent to Him so that He will send abundant rain on you and add strength to your strength. And do not turn away from Him by becoming guilty. Surah Hud verse 52 And among His signs, He shows you the lightning with fear and hope and brings down from the sky a water with which He gives life back to the earth after its death. There is in this evidence for people endowed with reason. Surah ar rum verse 24 Thus the Muslim lives with the fear of punishment and the hope of reward as Allah indicates through the rain and the storm. Some people do not hesitate to make a link between the rain of Arafat and the possible presence of Imam Mahdi on the scene on this day of August 10, 2019. In fact, many Muslim thinkers Numerologists, Imams, and other scholars predicted the presence or even the appearance of Imam Mahdi in Mecca during the Hajj of 2019. 
Others claim he would appear in 2020. And as such, the rain that fell during Hajj 2019 on the day of Arafat was to herald this good news. To support their arguments, they rely on the following Quranic verse. And among his signs, he shows you lightning to create fear and hope and sends down water from the clouds and revives the earth after its death. There are indeed many signs in this for people who make use of their understanding. The defenders of this theory base themselves on the multidimensional nature of the Quran, which means that each sentence in the sacred book could have several interpretations depending on the defined context. An approach justified by the universality and timelessness of the holy book. Thus, they argue, referring to a previously quoted verse, that the rain on Mount Arafat must be interpreted as a message from Allah announcing the good news to us, namely, the imminent advent of Imam al Mahdi, responsible for restoring the image of Islam, which has lost its notoriety throughout the world. Therefore, he gives life back to the earth after its death, a parable that heralds the revitalization of the true religion of God. This approach should be taken into account because according to the people of the book, including the Jews, Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntazar, although there may be another name for them, should appear in 2020. That a rain coming to announce it during Hajj would seem quite plausible. On another note, it is established that a dream is a means of communication often used by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to address the sons of Adam but also to the prophets. Let's take the case of Ibrahim alayhi salam to name just one. The Lord commanded him to sacrifice his son Ismail through a dream. You must therefore legitimately be interested in the many dreams whose interpretations corroborate the thesis of the probable presence of Imam al-Mahdi in Mecca 2019 or at least that he is already with us, even if his mission has not yet started. Among the dreams reported about Imam al-Mahdi, the one evoked by Sheikh Khalid al-Maghribi at Al-Aqsa Mosque in the Holy Land caught our attention. He tells the story of a man who came to tell him about his dream, while he was wondering about the appearance or not of Imam al-Mahdi in 2019. In his dream, the individual indicates that the Prophet Sayyidi Ahmed وسلم, came to two different people with the following announcement. The Mahdi is among you and you must increase the tasbih, that is to say the glorification of Allah. What then are the warning signs of the advent of the Mahdi? The appearance of Imam al-Mahdi in the Shahada world constitutes one of the major events in holy history. It was therefore quite normal for the Prophet ﷺ and his legitimate successors to inform the Ummah of the arrival of this ultimate savior of humanity. And this through the circumstances and the warning signs of the approach of its appearance, so that individuals are warned and prepared for the reception of this event. Many hadiths and narrations reported from the Prophet describe to us these signs and these circumstances, which are a cosmological and social nature. One of the most obvious social signs that heralds the coming of Imam al-Mahdi is the deterioration of civilization and the human way of life. Indeed, it is when humanity sinks into obscurantism and that beliefs, customs, standards, manners, and unhealthy social relationships prevail, that the economic situation and security deteriorate, that fear, worries, wars, and injustice become widespread. That's when there will be an urgent need for a great reformer to enlighten his fellows again. Let us now quote some of the hadiths which tell us about these signs. According to Al-Sadduq, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib anhu said, At the end of time and with the approach of the hour, which constitutes the worst of times, women will appear naked, running towards pleasure, and legalizing what is illegal. Their eternal home will be Jahannam. According to Al-Majlisi in Bihar al-Anwar, citing a chain of transmission going back to Imam al-Sadiq, 
The Prophet said, My Ummah will know a time when people show a perfidious background and good appearances, out of greedy desire for this world. They won't seek for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will be marked by unscrupulous hypocrisy. Allah will then send them a punishment, after which they will then begin to employ him like a shipwrecked person, but their distress call will not be answered. And still, according to the same source, the Prophet ﷺ said, My Ummah will know a time when only the drawing will remain from the Quran, and of Islam only its name. People will claim it while being the most distant. Their mosques will be very crowded, but piety will be absent. The faqih of this period will be the worst faqih on earth. It is from them that the troubles will come out and it is to them that they will return. Finally, according to a hadith reported by Al-Saduq and attributed to Imam Al-Qadim, two signs will announce the arrival of Imam Al-Mahdi, which will contradict the calculations of astrologers, a lunar eclipse which will occur on the 5th of the month and a solar eclipse on the 15th of the same month. A phenomenon observed during the month of Ramadan in the years 1982 and 1983 respectively. It is worth noting that the hadiths evoking the coming of Imam al-Mahdi affirm that he will appear in Mecca, will proclaim his imamate and that people will pledge allegiance to him at the place between the Rukn and the Maqam at Masjid al-Haram. In light of all these elements, the storm that occurred on this day of August 10th, 2019, the day of Arafat, is this not a warning sign of the next appearance of this famous unknown that is Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntazar? The question has been asked, brothers and sisters. We would love to hear your opinion on this topic under the comment section below. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.